Hello everyone, it's Nina from the Atomy team and today I'm joined with Jennifer. Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer. I'm so happy to be back in the show again. So today we're back in the kitchen to talk about a new upcoming product. Atomy Medical Ceramic Frying Pan. Wow, this new frying pan, it comes in a set. We've got a 28cm and a 24cm ceramic pan and a 28 centimeter wok. So it gives you plenty of options to cook a different style of cooking. I've been looking forward for, up to this product for a long time now. Oh, that's so, so this, good. Yeah, these frying pans are so special because they don't, have, they don't use um, toxic chemicals or glue for the coating. They use a new technology called extreme coating. Okay, basically it has nine special layers of coating based on ceramic. It does not contain any toxic compounds and best of all, it has great non-stick properties. Okay, so let's get started. Yep. First, I'll start with something basic uh, just to show how good the frying pan is. I'll be testing with sunny side up eggs. And after that, I'll be making a quick and easy omelette everyone can make at home. Let's start. Okay, so the three frying pans come with all detachable handles. So this is how you fit it. So I'll just get Jennifer's yep. assistance. Let's tilt it this side. All right, so just to show the okay the members and then you push it in. So you just keep screwing like that. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, there you just, go. Just keep tightening. So the handles, um, it's uh, made so that you can just um, throw away the frying pan and just keep the handle. So I want to mention about the special um, spray coating that's used um, underneath the frying pan. So it's just to help distribute the heat evenly. All right, so we're just going to do the eggs now. Okay. Okay, we'll crack the eggs. Oh, and see how it slides beautifully. So I've, um, I've also been using these uh, frying pans at home just to test how they are uh, before, you know, for this show. And I, I find that the difference, the quality is really different to, uh, compared to what I have at home. So definitely this is on my books to buy. And next, uh, we have Jennifer cooking the omelette. Okay. Um, yes, I'm going to start off by hitting the uh, ceramic pot. I'm just going to put on uh, medium fire and as you know this uh, pan is going to heat up very fast. I have to tested it many times at home and cooking this uh, omelette recipe, it had to be very quick and fast. Uh, it's generally it takes about two minutes so I can feel that my pan is now heating up. So I'm going to quickly um, pour in this um, a small pieces of uh, butter. So while doing that, I'm just going to quickly beat the egg. And again, um, you have to be reminded that you have to do it fast. So while the uh, butter is sizzling, so I'm going to beat my two eggs vigorously. So it's going to create a kind of some kind of foam, foamy texture. The more you beat, um, so later on when you pour in the eggs, it's going to make your egg so fluffy. All right, I can see that the uh, butter is now sizzling. Yeah, I've tested and I've done this recipe many times. So I've been very happy with it. So immediately you're going to pour in the eggs. So like I say, you have to do it fast because the hot, the, the heat from this pan is really good. Okay, it's on medium flame, so I'm happy with that. So while the flame is going, I'm going to push the cooker into the middle. Just use your spatula and keep on pushing into the middle and let the wet portion go 
onto the side and let it cook. So I can see it's really getting very fluffy now. I'm very happy with the texture. So I'm trying to make it in a very nice round shape. And while doing that, I'll just keep on pushing the uh, wet portion to the side. So not to worry so much about the shape. So after that, you keep on pushing the uh, cooked eggs to the center of the pan. I can see it's coming up very nicely. So I'll push a little bit more and it's beginning to harden. Like I said just now, this recipe only takes you two minutes. It shouldn't take you more than that. So it's very suitable for family, for well, us busy mom, uh, having to look after the family. You, you can cook a very quick breakfast for the family. You can cook it for your brunch, your lunch time, or any time for snacking. It's entirely up to you. And please be reminded that also, I have got to do, I've, I've prepared all the ingredients earlier. I've got my, today I've sauteed my mushroom. I've chopped up some spinach and uh, I've got ready my mozzarella cheese. So you can see I, I'm using the spatula, of course lifting it from time to time from the pan. You can see it's slowly, slowly sliding. Yep. So make sure I don't overcook it. So I'm now preparing to flip the egg, the two eggs backward. So I think it's coming along pretty well. There you go. So the moment I flip it, I'm going to switch off the gas and uh, quickly pour in the mozzarella cheese because the uh, hot heat from the egg is going to melt the uh, cheese evenly. And just going to use my hand in some, oh, sorry about that, put in some mushroom and a bit of spinach and there you go, it's all ready. So I'm going to remove from the heat so that the best of the uh, egg won't be overcooked and I'm just going to fold it into half. Don't worry about some of the ingredients sliding out, the main thing is we are after the texture. Okay. So after that, I'm just going to slide it down on the plate for plating. There you go. There you go. And after that, to finish off, you just garnish with a bit of um, tomato and a bit of spring onion. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You've got your omelette quick and easy omelette breakfast served for the family. So, I'll get one of my colleagues to enjoy this omelette later on and see what do they think of this recipe. Okay, see you all shortly again. Hi everybody. Yes, I've got uh, Bo, my colleague here, to join us and he's going to be my food tester for the day. Yep. Bo, please help yourself and let me know what you think of it. Thanks so much to give me a chance to taste it. Let's first cut the half and let's see inside. Wow, I can see that melted mozzarella cheese is coming up very well. Yeah. That, uh, like I said in the earlier, the, the pan, you know, the heat is just, um, it's very strong, but it cooks evenly. Let's cut a bit more and see how is the rest like. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, okay. Good. Yep. Okay, how about let's have a test ball? Yeah, I have some. Okay. That's okay. You go first. Mm. Mm. Nice? Yeah, it's so nice. It's soft and. Mm. How's the texture like? Do you. Very uh, smooth and. Very smooth. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So nice. Oh, thank you very much for coming along for the show. So delicious. Okay, we'll cook yeah. some more. 
Hi everyone, um, I hope you have enjoyed that cooking, you know, I do definitely, I have so, so much fun. So now, just want to introduce to you, we've got a new scrubber coming out and it will be released soon in our, on our website. So next I will talk about cleaning, it's very easy, you make sure that you know your pan has been fully cooled down first. And just use this um, simple scrub which is non-scratch, just, just gently rub around the surface and put a bit of water. Or you can just use a piece of cloth. As long as it's a soft, it's a soft layer. Yeah. So, um, and this uh, pans we recommend just uh, purely for frying, not for cooking um, with soup or anything like that. So to keep its longevity. Now this set of pan it will be available soon. It comes in a set of uh, two frying pans and a wok. It will have a lid at the moment. Uh, we don't have a lid to show you, but in time to come, it will come uh, in a pack uh, together with a. Atomy scratch free scrub. So, we're looking forward to this new product, Jennifer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely. so excited. I'm going to uh, get so one. So, we, we hope yeah. you enjoy our cooking show today. So, Jennifer and I totally had um, a good, great time. Yes. <laughs> oh, we do. All right. Bye <laughs> um, for now. Okay, we'll see you another time. Bye. Bye.